guys. Welcome to Carol's Universe Tarot Readings from the Heart. Thank you so much for joining me uh, on your month ahead reading, August 2022. So as you can see, I am back on screen. Usually these days, as you know, I show my hands and I only do it because I really love just showing the cards. I just love kind of talking through the cards and, you know, uh, showing you what the cards look like. Um, I'm not a fan of just holding cards up. I literally like to show you what the actual spread looks like that I'm doing. But, you know, I thought, you know what, wouldn't it be nice just to kind of connect with the audience um, a little bit? Wouldn't it be nice just to kind of talk to the audience kind of like and, uh, you know, just really sort of connect on a facial level with the audience? So, yeah, that's why I'm back on now. I don't know how long it'll be for. Sometimes you'll see me and sometimes you'll see the cards. It just depends, you know, um, whether it's a week that I really feel like coming on screen. If not, then, you know, you'll see the cards and you'll see the actual spread. But I just thought it would be a really nice thing to do this week just to kind of come back and kind of connect and say hello again. Uh, the other thing to say is um, for those of you who have joined me on Patreon, I know there's only a small amount of you. I've paused Patreon for the time being. It was just getting a bit too much having to do that additionally with everything else that I'm trying to do at the moment. I'm doing a lot of stuff with the tarot at the moment, not just private clients, but I have other projects and things in the works. So I'm focusing on those things as well. And with the added responsibility of trying to record uh, Patreon as well. I just thought, you know what, I think that's going to need to go for the time being. So for those of you who have joined me on Patreon, thank you very much. But I've paused it now indefinitely. Um, this week, guys, also we're doing August 2022 for each of the signs. And what's going to happen is I'm going to be on screen first talking to you guys and about what I'm seeing. Um, and also, uh, we're going to then pan the camera down onto the cards and you'll actually see the spread. So you, you get the best of both worlds. I'll be on as well as showing you the actual uh, spread. So I think that's everything said. It's really good to be back on YouTube. I know I haven't been around uh, that much. Uh, I took a good while off, actually. I think it must have been six months. I just I just wasn't feeling doing it at that time, if I'm being completely honest with you guys. I just I just needed a complete and utter break away from it. Uh, but for those of you guys that are left and are still watching the videos, I know there aren't many of us, but thank you very much. I'm hoping that the videos benefit you guys in some way. If you'd like to order a reading with me, click on the link in the comment section uh, below of your reading. And yeah. Let's get on with it and uh, let's see what's happening for the month of August. Hi Aquarius, welcome to Carol's Universe Tarot Readings from the Heart. Thank you so much guys for joining me on your reading for August 2022. For the reading guys, we're going to be using the Wandering uh, Star Tarot deck. Really love that deck, beautiful. Yeah, and we're just going to have a look at what the energies are around um, August 2022 now. Um, what I'm doing on this reading is shuffle the deck and we're going to just put one card at the top of the desk and we're going to just sort of talk about uh, what we see, what are the energies, what is the what is it you need to be focusing on for this for this particular month. The 10 cards at the bottom uh, underneath will uh, will actually be uh, sort of filling in the stories, if you if you like. So it's just kind of talking about what is the energy and what is the energies around that particular energy, if that makes sense. You'll see what I mean. Um, oh, sorry, shaky screen. Oh, sorry about that. Um, also, if you'd like to order a reading with me, guys, feel free to. Um, the uh, website details are in the um, are in the uh, uh, in the comment section below. Also, just to let you know as well, um, I appear on screen now first. Uh, I'm not always going to appear on screen. Sometimes it will just be the hands. It's just that I felt like coming on screen. Um, so yeah, I'll appear on screen and then um, afterwards I'll hone the uh, camera down of the cards and you can see the spread for yourself. Because I really like showing uh, people who watch the videos the spread. I think it's really important that you see what, what I'm looking at. So let's make a start on the reading then, um, Aquarius. Oh, it's a very, very warm day in the UK. If you hear my, if you see my hair shaking, it's because I've got my fan on. But luckily, I think I've got these really great earphones. You shouldn't be able to hear that fan. Luckily, because I really need it on. Um, so let's have a look. What is it that Aquarius needs to be focusing on for the month of uh, August? Strength. I love it. It's one of my most favorite cards within the tarot because it's all about having strength. It's about inner strength. Um, and it's not always so easy to be strong as a human being. It isn't. Uh, sometimes you're dealing with situations that you think there for the grace of God go on, you know, it's, uh, it's strength is not always an easy thing. It's the major, it's the eighth card in the major arcana. 
And the lesson of strength is all about having inner strength, having inner confidence, being in control, learning how to be calm, cool and collected, learning how to uh, temper your rage, learning how to calm. Sometimes it's about the need to calm your passion. The lion is the passion. The woman is calming the lion. Um, so the lesson of strength is all about learning how to be in a strength, how to be inwardly strong and learning patience as well. The lesson of the strength part is also dealing with the concept of having patience. Even if it means having to wait for a, a long duration of time for something, the concept is having patience because at the end, the obstacle will be overcome and you'll get what you want, that type of thing. Let's have a look at what the uh, messages are around that. <laughs> oh, God. It's really funny because within the tarot, um, there is a reading, especially on my website, there's a reading for 22 lessons for 2022, in which I, I, I kind of I, I develop this board. It's like a Lenormand tableau, but it has all the majors on it. All right? you, I'll probably do it for the channel at some point. You'll see what I mean. Um, but the chariot, it's very similar to the strength card. Again, this is a card about having to be strong. More than anything, the, the, the similarity between both cards is about being in control. Both cards deal with the concept of self-control. They deal with the concept of being strong, being confident, um, being courageous. Both cards deal with those uh, uh, concepts. Again, this I forgot to forget to mention that strength, another lesson is learning how to be courageous here. Okay. Um, le learning how to be strong in the face of adversity. The, the charity is very similar. It's a card about strength and learning how to take control. Uh, in difficult uh, situations about learning how to harness the power of um, will. So this is a card about having willpower. It's got these two uh, lines here. So they're in chains, but the whole concept of the chariot energy is that you're kind of often having to utilize your willpower in order to bring two opposing forces together so that you can move forward. So this is the card of harnessing your strength, harnessing your power and taking control of the situation that leads you to victory. So we have the chariot. The situation is all about the chariot. And chariot can also be a car or it can be something that is moving or pushing you in a particular direction. Um, what is the next one? So you've got the uh, three of cups. Some of you guys, you I mean, because the chariot represents travel, some of you guys, I think... <clears throat> There may be something that is opposing within a friendship. Some of you guys, it could literally be taking a trip to see friends, for example. But the lesson is about strength. So it's about learning how to be strong, how to um, how to um, allow yourself to work from the inside outward. It's about learning how to um, follow your inner strength, be strong, be courageous, be bold with the strength energy um be calm but that's what you need to focus on because there's something about i think with the chariot and the three of cups having to try and bring perhaps something opposing together because the three of cups is people who work together this is a, a happy kind of joyful collaborative energy this is friendship here but we've got the chariot here and the chariot is usually having to hop, trying to bring two opposing forces together so you can move forward. Um, let's have a look at the next one. And some of you guys, it may also be about progressing in a friendship as well, because the chariot is progress and the, uh, the three of cups is friendship. So this could be something to do with progressing within a friendship here. I think it's more than likely that, actually. Yeah, it's with this dude here. So some of you guys, the focus is on a lot of these readings for some reason this month. And you guys know me, whoever follows me, if you follow me normally, I don't really do love readings on. I mean, I do them in my business and everything, but I don't often do love readings on YouTube. Not because I don't want to do them. It's just that the cards never really show love. But for the last few cards, the last few uh, signs, it's been love. Some of you guys, it is about progressing in a relationship, a friendship. Some of you guys, the situation is about progressing towards a, in a friendship with this king. King of Pentacles. This could be an Earth sign, male or female, um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So progressing within a friendship uh, with this king. Things moving very quickly with that Eight of Wands energy. But then you've got the moon energy here. 
for some of you guys, it may be that there is some uncertainty or there is a fear about escalating something here. Um, do you know what I think here so far? I feel because the moon for me is a fear card, disillusionment. So for some of you guys, there may be some disillusionment or fear surrounding when you get the eight of wands in a relationship, really, it's not just communication, it's things moving really fast. So when you get the eight of wands, it's things picking up really, really fast. You've got a relationship that's like moving very, very fast. It's progressing really, really fast. You've got two progression cards here, the chariot and the eight of wands. The eight of wands is likely to progress something a lot quicker than a chariot would. So some of you guys are progressing in this friendship with this king of pentacles. But I think moving too fast for some of you guys, or it could be for the king of pentacles, moving too fast is 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 kind of freaking him out a little bit. Or it might be freaking you out a little bit here. Uh, Aquarius. Uh, there could be another individual here. Maybe this is an ex of the King of Pentacles. Yeah, it just feels like uh, this person, this king, could have broken up with this queen here, this Queen of Cups. You're usually a Queen of Swords. Um, you're heir, so you should be shown as a Queen of Swords. So I think that this person, um, this king has broken up with someone here. And I think that with the Seven of Cups energy, it's either that this person is very disillusioned by love at the moment, or this king is very sort of just kind of being a bit picky right now with this Seven of Cups. He's got lots of choices, perhaps, here. Okay, no, I think it's more disillusionment, because I think that this person is still mourning the loss. They're still missing this queen here. Yeah, Ten of Swords. I think that this person is really sad. They're feeling very sad and they're very, very hurt. In fact, I would say that this person's completely destroyed. They're really upset as well at being... It could also be that this queen broke, because the queen comes first and then the tower is the break. So it almost feels like this person broke up with this king. And this is why this king is very disillusioned by relationships. So I would say that this king of pentacles is probably more freaked out than anything. Um, and that's why I think that you need to focus on holding back, just reigning that... With the strength card, it's also about reigning in the passion. The lion is the passion, and the lion is instinct. And the lion is like, I just want to go for this. I just, you know, I'm really attracted to this dude. I just want to go for things with this dude. But I think really what the universe is saying this month, Aquarius, uh, for some of you guys, if this resonates with you, you've just got to hold back on this. You've got to learn the art of patience with the strength energy this month. Because I think that we're dealing with someone here, whoever this person is that you really like. So you, some of you guys, you really want to progress with this and within this relationship. You want to move forward within this relationship. But I feel here that this person, this King of Pentacles, this is, looks like a very nice guy to me. I must say, it looks really, really nice. But I think moving too quickly is something that is not on this person's radar right now. And I think if there is a sense of wanting for yourself to move forward, um, Aquarius quickly with this individual here I think that this person needs time to heal because um I feel that also and also um the eight of wands can and the moon card now the moon is emotion with the eight of wands it heightens it it's the eight of wands is always going upwards like this so usually with the eight of wands or any card that where the trajectory is like this it's heightening it it's it's pushing it upwards so with the moon and the eight of wands it may be that you want to progress a relationship with the king of pentacles um, but it also could be that perhaps this king is very highly strung at the moment, emotionally wise, um, because a woman, uh, a person broke up with him or her and he's disillusioned by the whole thing. He's really upset because the relationship. So I think that there's somebody here who's not ready for a relationship. When I look at the cards, I think Aquarius, I think somebody's not ready for something here. What we're going to do is we're going to hone the camera down on the cards of Aquarius and we're going to discuss the spread so just bear with hi aquarius so this is the spread that came out for you guys um the month of august focus on strength for me this looks like the need for some of you guys to have some patience and to have some self-control in a situation and to have some form of inner um you know just inner confidence because the that's what the strength card is. It's a very passionate card, but you can see the woman is controlling the strength of the lion. The lion is a wild animal. It's passionate. It's 
um, instinctive, you know, and it's all about controlling the instincts to do certain things. You can see it's written on here, actually, having the courage to do that. What we have is around this situation, the story is, is that there's progress towards a friend, progressing the friendship. So probably progressing the friendship to the next level from friendship, perhaps into a relationship. Uh, but I feel that this king here, who I would imagine it is that some of you guys are wanting to progress this thing forward with, is a little bit with this moon energy, emotionally, uh, perhaps. Um, I mean, the eight of wands for me has always been the card that suggests an upward trajectory. So uh, this can actually be anxiety with the eight of wands and the moon energy, because the moon is all about your emotions, but the emotions are gone. They're a little bit heightened. So that can actually, for me, indicate somebody who's feeling really anxious because their emotions are kind of upwards. They've gone up. There's this literally kind of, they're not particularly feeling hard, calm. So it feels to me, and also uh, the eight of wands doing, th rushing into something. The eight of wands is rushing into things. So it, it feels to me this king perhaps rushing into something here, emotionally wise, just being a little bit kind of disillusioned and nervous and fearful with that moon energy showing there. And I feel that um, it could be with this king here that perhaps this person was blown out by this woman here. Perhaps this king was um, dropped, dumped. This woman broke up. This Queen of Cups could be a, 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 a water sign female broke up with this earth sign male. doesn't have to be. They don't have to be earth or whatever. But this person may have been very committed to the Queen of Cups. But the Queen of Cups might have been somebody who was moody or, you know, quite emotional at times. And perhaps uh, they, I mean, usually water and earth mixes. Perhaps this, the, they just didn't mix. She looks like she blew him out. And it feels to me... Um, it could also be as well that perhaps this queen who blew out the king of pentacles is now disillusioned as to why she gave up the relationship and she's filled with a lot of remorse with the ten of swords there's a lot of guilt remorse there. so it could be that this person as well um, has separated from this queen but maybe this queen wants this king of pentacles back you know Aquarius um but also this person is maybe feeling a little bit kind of anxious or just fearful of rushing into things because this, this king was dumped by this queen here. And this king may definitely be disillusioned because by the whole thing, by love, by relationships, a little bit confused because there's still he's still upset. Five of Cups energy because at the ending of this relationship... Perhaps this person is still feeling a great deal of loss because they were stabbed in the back by this Queen of Cups energy showing here, you know. Whatever the case is, however you want to read these cards, I just feel that right now the universe is saying to you, Aquarius, that with the strength energy, you've got to focus on having patience. I don't think it's that this king... There's two things. I think either this king is just not ready for anything because they've been he's been deeply hurt by this queen here who blew him out. Um, and he's very sort of... You know, he's not ready to make any type of choice. He's disillusioned. He's confused by the whole thing. Or it could just simply be that this um, king is, you know, a little bit fearful of rushing into anything because perhaps there's somebody from his past who who, who dumped him, who, who ended the relationship here. But now this queen here who entered the relationship with this king is very disillusioned by why she gave this person up and she's very, this is regret and very disillusioned and she now regrets having hurt this king. And so this person might have come back to this king and said, you know what, actually, you know, I know that I broke up with you, but I'm really confused as to why I did this now with the Seven of Cups and I, I'm really remorseful with the Five of Cups of having deeply hurt you um, with the Ten of Swords energy. OK, um, also, this king may be communicating in secret with this queen here. So it just feels like you need to hold fire because, again, this is communication as well. And the moon is a secret. So it might be that this king is communicating in secret. You may want to progress this relationship, this friendship. But this king may be communicating in secret with this queen of cups who blew him off. OK, he might be turning around to her and saying, I'm really confused why you hurt me. You know, why you gave up on this relationship here and you hurt me so badly. So it just feels to me like this king here 
if, if this resonates with you Aquarius and there's someone you really like and you want to progress this friendship into something more you got to hold back here you got to have some patience but even if it's not patience you've got to have the inner strength to resist if you haven't told this person the desire to say can we can we move this along this relationship because I just feel like this person is hung up on someone else and they may even secretly be talking to this individual they may still be involved with them in some level this person might want them back I just don't think that this person is over the ex I really don't I don't see this person being over an ex as such so I just feel it's best to hold back a little bit on on this situation because it might be that this person's not truly over somebody else and until you have clarity until you truly have clarity okay and also with the tower and the seven of cups until you have this this smoke screen until this becomes because the tower can clear things as well because it tends to kind of like you know liberate and explode things until this smoke screen is cleared i think with this tower energy and you can literally get clarity on whatever it is that this person wants perhaps it's best just to hold back a little bit and resist the temptation to uh, to, to try and move into something more with this individual because i just feel that there's someone that you really like it but they're just not ready for something they're hung up on something else so you need to get some clarity on what it is that this person wants uh let's have a look at the advice we're going to use the romance angels what is the advice that you have for aquarius on this reading what is the advice that you have for aquarius on this reading please in one card well reconciliation someone from your past is returning to your life okay that's interesting i mean is it this person is this person wanting you back but if they are it looks to me, um, Aquarius, that they're into somebody else. So let's see. Or is this somebody completely new? Hmm. Okay. That's your reading, my darlings. Uh, as I said, mentioned, if you'd like a private reading with me, click on the link in the comment section below. And yeah, I'll see you on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.